What's going on plugins welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to talk about LZ Harrington and the schools that are recruiting them before we get into this video make sure you drop a like and if you're new here sub to the channel and become a part of the family now let's get into the video LZ Harrington is a top 15 prospect in the 2025 class he is a 6'5 combo guard he has ideal size and length He's an elite three-level scorer. He finishes well at the rim. He's not a crazy explosive athlete, but he knows how to get to his spots in the paint and score. When he's driving to the rim, he has great body control, and if he can't get a layup, he has elite footwork, and this allows him to pull up for a floater or a jump shot around the rim. He has good ball handling skills and ball fakes, and this helps him get separation from defenders, but if he can't get separation, he has the ability to make tough shots all over the court. He has a solid jump shot, and he can create for himself, so his combination of being able to make Make tough shots and having a solid jumper he's hard to guard on the perimeter he's already an elite player and he's just going to get better as he gets older he could end up in the top five or top ten in his class by a senior season he's having a great aau season this summer and he has been getting a lot of media attention and the d1 offers are rolling in from schools like arkansas arizona harvard and ucla the most interesting college on that list is harvard Usually five-star prospects don't consider going to an Ivy League school. He's rumored to be scheduling his first official visit there. This is what he told 24-7 Sports. Their coaches have been one of the two staffs recruiting me the hardest. When I talk to their staff, we talk for a long time. My dad knows Tommy Amaker. They have mutual friends, and Coach Amaker is really trying to get me. My godbrother Xavier is also going there this year. So his dad and the coach are already familiar with each other, and he stated his godbrother is going to Harvard. So that will make him more comfortable if he decides to go there the harvard coaching staff needs to make the best recruiting pitch when he gets on campus especially if that's going to be his first official visit to start his college recruitment he also stated that academics are important to him and his dad he told 24 7 sports this academics has been my dad's thing and i just adopted it i have always wanted to be smart enough to go to harvard and good enough to go to a blue blood there have not been any highly touted players that have turned ivy league so i feel like it could be an interesting option that no one has really done before if he goes to an Ivy League school, this could shake up things in college basketball. A five-star prospect going to Harvard would attract a lot of media attention, especially if they end up having a good season. I feel like it'd be hard for them to pull this off. It's three colleges that are making him a top priority, which are Arkansas, USC, and UCLA. He told 24-7 Sports, those are the three colleges that are making the hardest push right now. Arkansas has been contacting him a lot lately. They've been having some good seasons these last couple of years, so I'm sure he's strongly considering going there. Eric Musselman is one of the best coaches in college basketball, so that would be a good landing spot for him. UCLA already had him on campus. He went to a practice in a game. He has said that their practices are like his high school practices, and he likes that. The coaching staff has a good relationship with his dad, and they talk often. USC also had him on campus, and he went to one of their practices. He said his favorite thing about USC is that top guards are going there. As we all know, Bronny James and Isaiah Collier are going to be playing there this upcoming season. So this is a great recruiting pitch for UNC trying to attract some top guards in high school basketball. He said that he would plan out more official visits once the summer is over, but right now he's more focused on improving his game and becoming the best basketball player that he can be. It's really early in his recruitment process, so a lot of things can change from now until then. But I must say it would be cool for a five-star prospect to be balling at an Ivy League school. I wouldn't mind if that happens. And who knows, maybe he can recruit another five-star prospect to go there. Could y'all imagine if Harvard had a top-ranked college basketball recruiting class? That would be crazy. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Do y'all think LZ Harrington should commit to Harvard or should he commit to a Power 5 school? Drop your opinions in the comments. Make sure you drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. I got a lot of videos dropping this week. I appreciate y'all and I see you in the next video. Till next time.